All right, I'm going to show you how to turn images like this one and this one into a video like this one. That's right, guys, we're going to do it for free. This is AI video generation with Luma Labs AI, now including keyframing. We're going to grow your channel. We're going to get better at YouTube. Let's go. All right, so let's go through the process. This is definitely going to help you as a creator grow your channel because this is free to do and it is fantastic. Let me show you. First step, go to lumalabs.ai. When you're there, you'll see up at the top right, try now. Now, it may ask you to create an account. However, keep in mind, you get 30 generations a month free. So, you know what? That's a fair enough amount to get a feel for what we're doing here. So, as I go through here, this is the back end, and you'll see here that I've already generated five uh, videos here, and I've got two in the queue here. So I've got two that are being generated, but they're not quite done yet. Okay, so there are generally three things you can do with Luma Labs. Let me show you the first one. The first one is you just go to this prompt bar and you type in a video that you want. So if I wanted a French bulldog sipping on a bottle of beer, of beer, whatever, I'm having some fun here, I would go ahead and click enter. I'm not going to do that because A, I've got 23 left, and B, I've got two in the queue, and that is the maximum number right now, so it won't even process. But if you do something like that, you'll get a video that looks like this one here. This one here is a French bulldog flying in a rocket ship, and it is fantastic. So there we go. We got this cool video of this pupper doing pupper things. And that's the first step. The second step is extending your video here. So if you want to, say, take this video here of my bulldog, of her bulldog, pardon me, flying in a rocket ship, you can click on this extend button and you'll see here it says extend your video by five seconds. So right now they're currently uh, capping at five second extensions. But if I wanted him, you know, instead of, you know, maybe he's flying on a rocket ship, maybe he's now, he's on his way. No, he's going to Uranus right there. There we go. So there, he's on a new trip and I would hit enter here and presto, it's going to go ahead and extend that by five seconds. You will notice here that I have a maximum concurrent usage limit. So again, because I'm already processing things, I'm getting shut down for the short period of time. Okay, and that just sent my watch off. Sorry, Siri, I'm uh, working here. Uh, okay, Siri, thanks. All right, so the next thing you can do here is you can use your own images or you can create AI images. Like for example, I created some in Midjourney and use those as the starting and ending frames. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. I want a uh, Clark Kent turning into Superman. Here we go. Now, again, you can click enter here and it will do its best and it does a great job. But if we click on this little image icon and it's very small and it's, it doesn't have a hover on it, so you can't really tell. But again, when you click on this, watch this. Now I can go ahead and select images. So, you know, I have an image here of Clark Kent that I created in Midjourney. And presto, you'll see here that this image is now in the consideration set. Now, we can either go ahead and run this, and this will use this image, the one we just entered, as the first frame, and then it will interpolate, or it will, I guess, well, I don't even know, it's not even interpolate, it's extrapolate, pardon me, from this single image. However, if we know what we want the final image to look like, you can go ahead and enter in an end frame. And when I do that here, I happen to have an image of Superman as a cartoon character. So I want him to go from Clark Kent, while well, realistic and photorealistic looking to Superman with the with a cartoon cape on, just for fun. There you go. We go ahead and do that. You click enter. Of course, I'm going to get the maximum concurrent usage limit. But here, I've done an example here so you can see what it looks like. I'm going to click on this one here. Watch this. See how he went from Clark Kent photorealistic. That was the first image or the first frame we entered. And then the last frame is him looking all dapper as a cartoon Superman. That is the technique. That's all there is to it. You can create 30 of these for free. You can create amazing transitions. You can create amazing B-roll with this. And as this tool improves, it's just going to get better and better, guys. So there you go. That's how you do it inside Luma Labs. Thanks for watching.